What up, what up, Wimbush here. And the thing that a lot of people ask me, especially new users to Unreal Engine, is how do they render out and make their camera in different aspect ratios and resolutions? Because by default, it's on by 16 by nine, which could be HD, 4K, 8K. But let's say you wanna render something out for like TikTok or Instagram, or even something in ultra wide. And I wanna show you guys exactly how I do it. And I even made a cheat sheet for you guys here. So if you look at this PDF, I have everything listed here. If you wanted to do square, which would be one by one. If you want to do standard, which is four by three. HD, of course, is on by default. 35 millimeter, three by two. Ultra wide screen, vertical, nine by 16. And portrait, four by five. And then I'll also show you the height and width that you need for the sensors inside of the camera, which I'll show you right now with this all means inside of Unreal Engine. So I put together this project file in which I'll give to you guys free. I'm just gonna throw it up on Gumroad or something. I don't want any money. But if you look over here in the outliner, you can see I have all these different cameras set up. So here's the 32 millimeter, the HD one, the portrait, the square, the standard, the ultra wide, and the vertical. Now you can see how all the different aspect ratios actually change with each one of these cameras. And you can set these up manually. So let me actually come through and make a new camera. So if I come over here, cinematics, make a cinematic camera, and by default, it's 16 by nine here. Now, if I come over here to my details panel, under the current camera settings, under film back, this is where you would actually set it. So let's say you wanted to make this vertical, so that would be nine by 16. What you would do is come over here to your center width, make it 36. And then right here under your height, make it 64. And now you can see that you're vertical. And now, of course, you can actually change these out as you see fit. Like if you didn't want to do 36 by 64, you can actually like divide these by two. So let's say 36 divided by two and then 64 divided by two. It's still gonna give you that vertical slice, but you wanna make sure you're within this aspect ratio. And if you look at this sensor aspect ratio, it shows you the exact number that you need right here. So as long as you stay at 5625, you're gonna be good. So let me go back to 36 by 64. And you can see the aspect ratio exactly the same here. Now let's say you wanna change this to like four by five. So I'm gonna leave my width at 36. And down here from my height, I'm actually gonna change this one to 45 and you can see my aspect ratio changed to eight but now you can see my window here is actually four by five so i think you guys could kind of see where i'm going with this this is just a default so of course you can always come through and change these as you see fit but this is exactly how you would change your camera to work within your render there so let's say you want to do one by one so i'm going to make this 36 by 36 and you want to render this out so i'm actually just going to come over make a new level sequence. I'm just gonna make this one tutorial, click on save. And now this is gonna bring up a new sequencer. So what I'm gonna do is actually just click on that. Actually, I'll just do the one that I made before. So my camera square one by one, left click, drag this in here. And now you can see we're looking at a one by one camera. And if you wanted to render this out one by one, you would just click down here on your movie render queue, come in here under settings, and then you would just change out your export resolution. So one by one, of course, would just be square. So you do 1920 by 1920. But again, if you look at my spec sheet there, it will show you exactly the resolution that you need to use to render out at that specific aspect ratio. And also, if you want to use my project file, if you come over here to where it says load and say preset, you can see I actually made presets for all the different resolutions as well. So I do have one here for one by one, which would be 1920 by 1920. But let's say you wanted to do ultra wide, which would be 3440 by 1440. You just click on this, then come back down here under output and it actually changed out the resolution for you. And then you could come over here and you could do as you see fit, you know, change it out from a JPEG to whatever you need. But I just want to kind of make it easy to give you guys a reference on what you want to do if you want to render out different aspect ratios. So that's basically it. Like you just come over and it's as simple. You would just change out your sensor width and your sensor at height. And whatever your aspect ratio is, you would just go through and you would just make it happen. And so I know there's a lot more aspect ratios than the ones that I have there. I tried to pick the ones that are most commonly used, but if you have any suggestions, make sure you leave me a comment down below and I'll start adding to the sheet. Again, I just wanted to put this together to help you guys out. So I'm not gonna charge or anything. I throw it up on my gum road for $0. And if it helps you guys out, that's cool. But um, yeah, that's gonna be basically it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you leave me a comment down below 
below. Let me know if this helped you guys out. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I see you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.